Yo, what is up, everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now, today, continuing off here in official PvP. Okay. All right. Who is this? Anison? Really? We're gonna whip him off. Is this necessary? I'm trying to do a little bit of an intro here. Okay. Great. I don't have parachutes. Awesome. <laughs> all right. At least we took him down with us, right? All right. I got my stuff. Sorry about that rude interruption. Some people just don't have manners nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But any, anyway, today, we're going to be checking out Patch 278. It is the TLC update that they've been talking about for a while. It was pushed up to February 10th, and here we are. So, all of the Gigantopithecus that actually someone was working hard at breeding, they were going to use these for fiber and stuff, were reverted to level 1. So we've got level 1 Gigantopithecus with their HP stats still in, intact. Weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they'll fix it. Who knows? Anyway, we've got... New Gigantopithecus, Procoptodon, Rex, Dire Bear, and Dire Wolf. Did I miss one? I don't know. If I did, we're going to check it out anyway. <laughs> we're going to be checking all these out. I actually have to teleport this guy up top. I want to show you some stuff that he can actually do. Um, but it's a bit laggy. They didn't fix the teleporter getting stuck either, so you still get stuck in it. Okay, we're up top. We've loaded in everything. And let's check this out. So he, he used to be able to throw people. But like now, you can kind of aim it, and if you hold it down, you can choose which direction it goes. So, I think he also throws a lot further. Look at this. That's a, that's a pretty far distance. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be really useful for... Maybe you could put him in crucial areas just to launch you to use a glider suit or something along those lines. But other than that, I don't know what he can really be used for. I don't know if anybody's going to be tossing people over walls or something, but hey... I'm sure someone will find uses for it. But anyway, he's also got a attack that will debuff armor. So basically reduces armor on targets. Let's get over to the zip line here. All right, here we go. So I haven't tried this out, but I feel like this is probably going to be the most useful thing to come from this. There we go. Oh, that's cool. So he just he just climbs up like you would expect. And this is the first thing outside of aberration that can be used with zip lines. So now that you can use these, you can just, you know, bring zip lines off of Aberration, tame up these, and use them to, you know, travel back and forth. You don't have to get the pants or the ravagers or whatever, so that's really cool. It's kind of cool that they've implemented this into the Aberration kind of set. Oh, and he just kind of glides down as well. But there we go. I don't know if it's going to make too many big changes to PvP or anything. Again, they don't have a saddle. So it kind of makes them hard to use in PvP, even if they have the, the armor debuff. Going against anything with a saddle is really difficult. So, I don't know. I'm going to put this thing away. We're going to take out that Procomptodon. I definitely want to see what that's all about, because that has a bunch of changes too. Alright, here we go. Check this thing out. Definitely looks way cooler. And I have a feeling we're going to be wanting a lot of these. So, they increased the weight that these get. Uh, I'm not sure if it affected the tamed ones that we already had, or the bred ones, I mean, but this should have a higher weight stat. The jump is much nicer. Like, it's actually like a targeted jump, not just like a, you, you click it and it jumps. Uh, now you actually target, you can jump a lot farther, but you can also just do the normal jump by tapping on the space bar. Uh, the other thing is this. This is what makes these, well, this is one thing that makes these awesome. It's a knockback. And the knockback doesn't just work on Megalosaurus. <laughs> it works on big dinos as well. And this is a game changer. As many of you know, at least if you're in decent raids in PvP, people have been using the Reaper Kings to push people back, push them off cliffs, stuff like that. But now, look at He doesn't even know what to do. He's used to pushing people back, and he's getting pushed back. <laughs> but, uh, let me go, let's see here. There's a Pariser. I'll push that back. So people have been using Reaper Kings to basically basically push Brontos and stuff off cliffs. So if your base is near a cliff or on a cliff or whatever, you can push it back with a Reaper King. But now if you could just do it with a kangaroo, that's so much easier. Let's, look at this. It's a little bit laggy. I apologize. We're right under our base, so there's a decent amount of ping, but let's get him in a straight line. Could you imagine? You could just push somebody's Pariser who's trying to tank your wall away with a kangaroo. That's a pretty big change, uh, considering the fact that these aren't that hard to tame or get. So, going to be a, a little bit useful in PvP, but also they're going to be useful for support as well. 
All right, so the useful thing, sorry, we're still loading it up here. Um, about these, I want to test it out actually. Can you put them, can you use them on like something like this big? You can pick up, I'm trying to see, there's nothing, actually nobody's breeding anything small today. Um, anyway, you can pick up, oh, bad example. I was hoping he could maybe pick up the Quetzal. You can pick up baby dinos, put them in the pouch. I guess that's how you would do it, right? And then you can, I don't know, they just stay in there. And they get a better affinity is what it says. So I'm assuming better uh, imprint if they're inside of a pouch as well. You can put players in here. So you can just pick up little shoulder pets, but that's just like a baby. Just kind of drops it. So you can store babies in kangaroos. It's also a good way to move them, you know. So probably only small ones obviously it doesn't work with the quets here but i'd assume any other smaller babies with a smaller drag weight would be fine but definitely interesting to be able to use these for breeding as well so i'm gonna have to get me a couple of these i think breeding up just to use in some interesting situations but let's move on let's go check out the rex i think now at this point all right we're over here on ragnarok a little bit less cluttered also had to feed some babies that i had raising up over here so Needed to take care of those. Anyway, we've got this Rex stuck inside of this, but they look so awesome. Like, look at how, I can't even, like, I don't know. It's just slimmer, looks more real, realistic, basically. Doesn't look all boxy. So, definitely an awesome addition. I'm going to change that on so we can see them. Yeah, way cooler. And now they also do have another ability. It looks like the mutation colors on their feet are going to be really cool. Uh, we're moving some stuff, or obviously we're moving everything from here on Ragnarok, so that's why it's a little bit bare, but we got a couple of Rexes to test out. We're moving because the 100 turret limit is in now implemented. You can't place turrets over the 100. Alright, so C is now not only... Or, I'm sorry. The... <laughs> not C. The right trigger is now the roar, but it makes things poop. Yeah, it makes things poop. So enemies, uh, players, and dinos will poop. Players aren't really stun locked by poop, but as you know, if like your parser or something decides to do that while running away, it can be bad because then things can catch up. So this is going to be like a mini stun basically, and that's what it does. We're not going to take it and do it to an enemy dino or anything, but you get the gist of it. We don't have to go too far into the Rexes other than that. They look really cool. Alright, so another one that they've updated is the Dire Wolf. So Dire Wolf looks more, a little fatter. Looks like he's got a lot more fur on him. Definitely cool. I like it. But it also has a pretty unique ability. Check it out. So we can see this little icon on our screen. Why is that icon there? That's because that's our prison. <laughs> Someone in our prison is low on HP, evidently. So uh, it seeks out enemy players who are damaged. Uh, it also works for creatures as well. So say you damage something below 50%, somebody's wyvern, pterodon, something like that. I guess you could go out with a scouting party and, and search with a wolf and kind of search. So this guy's damaged below 50%, so he's being seen by the dire wolf. Pretty cool. Um, other than that... Not really anything that's going to change much about them. These guys aren't... Yeah, he's got full HP, so that's why it's not showing, like, multiple icons or something. So, yeah, you can have multiple dire wolves, and when you use the howl, it now gives them a kind of alpha pack bonus type deal. Other than that, I think this scout ability... And it also scouts for explorer notes and uh, things like hidden prolovias. All right, here we go. Got to test this out with the Dire Bear. It's the only way I could think of to actually use this thing effectively. Dire Bear looks cool. Has a new C thing. Looks a little different, but anyway. When we attack with the... Okay. It got 15 honey. Is that less? I feel like you used to get more honey. Like when you used to break the honeycombs, you'd break it and you'd get like 50 or something. But now, you can gather it with a bear. Get 15 we just break it or we can break it we don't get anything from it but I actually kind of want to see what you get by hand I guess I think they kind of changed 
the beehives when the aberration beehives came out where you can now gather from it instead of actually getting a bag when you break it but let's see here let's see if we can find another one that i can like gather by hand um now the bear will take aggro from the bees they won't attack you off of the bear if you get you know attacked by them also the bear i hope i don't lose it nope it was just like i was like okay i thought i was gonna lose the thing um the last thing with them is they're going to have a little bit faster swim speed. If you ever used a bear in the water actually before, they were probably the slowest thing ever. So I wouldn't say that's a buff. I would say it's a necessary increase. I wouldn't say any of this is really game-breaking for the bear. It looks a little bit different, but I mean, honestly, who gets honey this way? You get, you know, you tame up some bees and you get beehives going. If you've got a bear at this point. Okay, so yeah, you get five when you gather it like that get three times with the bear i don't see that to be that useful i feel like you need to get like a lot for it to actually be worth it to bring a bear around like this it's not like you could ever like actually use it in another way you have to fly it around there aren't beehives on the ground in the center or for any map i don't think i think ragnarok maybe has like one so definitely take advantage of that one with this bear new ability but at least it got a different look i don't know i feel like this could have definitely used something different we've got enough beehives around the base anyway those are the five creatures that they've updated for this round of the tlc patch i think it's a pretty good idea to go through and change these and definitely gives life to some of these different dinos i don't know the rex that that's one that threw me off i feel like the rex is a pretty balanced one but hey now it's got the ability to make things poop now, there were a ton of other changes to PvP as well, so we're going to go out, we're going to do some random stuff, I'm not sure yet what, and we're going to talk about those changes, because there were a lot of changes to PvP that definitely need to be addressed. It's pretty crazy what they did in this patch. Alright, we're just going through the swamp here. We got some babies and stuff to feed at base. I've got some new stuff hatching up. That'll be in the next video. It was going to be today. But, you know, with this, definitely wanted to cover it, get this out, so we'll be just getting a few more things hatched up for that episode. Anyway, um, a couple big things that they've changed. Uh, the one is the Dragon's Fire Breath. Uh, the direct impact, the, the one that does a ton of damage, was reduced by 50%. So, Fire Wyverns um, definitely got a pretty big nerf from that. They were actually pretty strong with that fire, um, since lightning doesn't really knock you out with, when you've got... Uh, a decent set of flak or something so fires were pretty nice to actually burn people but they lost that ability um, another big one um, is with the brontos and the parasers so brontos and parasers were actually really really nerfed um, their HP gain was nerfed their base HP was nerfed everything with that it, it's actually pretty much with all tanking dinos including like the donkey the Tuso, and of course the stego so the stego's plate resistance is now only 30 percent it used to be much higher so you're not going to get as much of a reduction if you get hit in those plates um the normal hp and stuff on it is normal so there's not that big of a change but uh if you get hit in the plates or you relied on that uh that's going to be gone anyway uh the other one is the tech tapajara it no longer can tame titans now in any, every big raid and stuff we always tamed a titan at the end to you know wipe the base and stuff and it was always with the tech tapajara no one ever did it with a cannon at this point so it's going to be back to cannons you can't just go out with a tech tapajara and take care of that um another big one that they actually changed is uh with the giga so the giga got another nerf sadly it's gonna rage so much easier so normally you'd use a compo on it because it bypasses armor and that would make it rage quicker but now everything that uh causes rage is calculated before the saddle armor so actually you know anything like a shotgun anything like that is actually gonna rage a giga way easier because it's not actually calculated after the reduction from saddle and imprint and stuff so rip gigas sadly um, they've also made a couple of tweaks to tech and kind of how that works so normally tech railings um, fence foundations things like that never took element uh, but now they all take element or element shards in some cases and that's because people would just spam tons and tons of them and now they actually require element you can't just you know craft a ton of them so if you had a ton of tech railings already stocked up like we did from that last raid um you made out <laughs> because now they cost element basically and then the last one you can now go from laying down 
to crouch without having to stand up. I know, it's mind-blowing and crazy. They haven't added this already, but yeah, I'll link the patch notes down below if you want to read the rest of the changes. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.